Right guys, Miller here again. Um, just wanted to give a, a massive shout out to a company that I've been uh, in contact with lately about sorting out these that you can see in front of you. Uh, these are my new bases that I've sorted out for my English Civil War Army for pike and shot and any other real system really. Um, but I've been in talk, discussion with a company called Doodle Tech. Um, you may have heard me talk about them before because I've used them um, to make the bases for all of my Wars of the Roses stuff. All the individual um, man bases that I've been using and they've been absolutely fantastic to work with. They quite happily uh, sat, or not sat down, but uh, through emails have been able to design specific bases for what I needed. I've been trying to find similar bases to these um, in the past, but anywhere I went didn't really seem to do them. I'm sure they would have helped, but Doodle Tech have been fantastic. Um, I can't, I can't stress to you guys enough uh, how much to go and check them out and uh, if there's any specific designs that you may need I'm fairly sure that the fellow that I spoke to, a man called Oliver will quite happily accommodate uh, anything that you guys might require um, there's been a few discussions about these before um, I know that uh, Martin over at Seventh Sun is doing something similar with the front of his but I've been um, planning to do something similar to one of these for a long long time now it was just getting around to doing it I know there was a company that had made similar bases to these before um, but I couldn't find them online and when I did they were out of out of production they weren't making them anymore but obviously they're MDF they come in two halves um, and then as you can tell with this it's got a very large front on it and uh, if I show you, if by magic, one I prepared earlier, so obviously one is designed for the pike units and it has this large frontage on it so that the pikes don't end up clashing with another unit because when you're pushing the two pike units together there's always the chance that you can't fit the pikes in amongst each other and obviously these plastic ones as you can see are quite quite bendy and some of the metal ones are quite sharp as well so at least with the bendy ones you had that chance of it avoiding hitting someone but with these well with some of the metal ones you're less likely to have that chance so I'll just move these out of the way so obviously the second one is a larger one and you might be able to tell that it's for your wings of muskets so there's one and there's two so I've picked up enough to field one for every unit in my army um, and as you can see I quite like it you've got this lot obviously a, the larger front to be able to make a bit more scenic on the fronts and again with the muskets you've got that front frontage on here so that the muskets aren't clashing so if I was to do this if you can imagine this is your regiment advancing down the field and then you decide you want to come into a pike clash against another regiment oh that just snapped off ignore that You've now got that frontage that will stop your pikes and muskets from clashing. I'll just move this pike that's come off out of the way. So obviously these muskets now, when they come together, won't clash. And the same with the pikes. Now obviously that's all dependent on whether or not your opponent has got the same thing. So for instance if I was to, which is not the camera, if your opponent hadn't had the same, and I'm just going to use this one just to show, oh god, everything's coming apart. So ignoring the part on the back on this one. So just imagine that this is just a normal movement tray. Even 
with the frontage on this one, you can still interlock their pikes and it won't interfere with the other troops. You won't have that issue. Sorry, had a bit of a camera malfunction there. As I was saying, you won't have this issue with the pikes clashing and chances of them snapping off. You can see these ones here on this unit of metal to the front. So if they were to get in the way of them, you'd have a few issues with uh, clashing and maybe damaging uh, your models, and especially your pikes. Um, but yeah, so I'm quite chuffed with the way they came out. And the same as, like I said, with these, if this side didn't have the movement tray, then, again, still if they come into contact, your muskets are less likely to, to clash as if they were if you were to put two lots of muskets together normally. So if they were to go into close combat, combat it all becomes a bit higgledy-piggledy and becomes awkward. But yeah, so I think I have about nine regiments, or maybe less, I can't remember, eight or nine regiments, all of a similar size, except for my Earl of Manchester's regiment of foot. So just to show off, I might have mentioned in an earlier video that I was going to make it larger. So this is going to be the movement tray for my Earl of Manchester's regiment. And obviously you can tell, if I put it up against one of my standard regiments, it's going to be at least twice the size. So this will be my oversized or double regiment for the Earl of Manchester's. With the two new wings of musketeers that I've recently painted up. Which, if I haven't posted them now, I will be posting them soon. But yeah, as I said, gents and ladies, anyone... Um, can't stress to you guys enough to go and check out Doodle Tech. I'll put a link in the description. And if any of you guys are thinking about getting anything similar to this or anything in general where you want a movement tray but you haven't found anywhere that has it, then do go and check them out. And uh, I'm sure they'll happily accommodate for you guys. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. Uh, bye for now.